Hello Virgo and welcome to your March 2019 mid-month check-in. This is for Virgo. What is going on with Virgo? What is going on with Virgo for March 2019? If this resonates with you Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. All right, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Virgo. What is going on with Virgo for March 2019? What is going on for their mid-month check-in for March 2019 for Virgo? Virgo, what's going on with Virgo? Okay. Wow, okay, so. Here you are at the bottom of the deck. We have Earth Energy, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles. Male or female absolutely does not matter. So I've got Earth here. I've got Scorpio here. I've got Water here. I've got Fire here so far. So if the sign of the person that you are thinking of or dealing with or will be dealing with pops up, then all the better, right? But I'm going to be reading the energies of the cards. Okay, so. Queen of Pentacles. Virgo. In all your glory, right? Very focused. Very um, career-driven. Goal-oriented. Um, beautiful. Caring. Nurturing. Takes care of yourself and everyone around you in a beautiful, unselfish kind of way, right? You're a very giving person. So we have this Queen of Pentacles, you're very stable, very grounded energy. You're looking for solid commitments here. You're looking for stable new beginnings here. And I think that is what you're working towards. That is your goal, okay? So Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. The situation is we got some obstacles to clear before we can get to that point, okay? This is this could have been a dramatic ending here. And we are trying to clear obstacles so that this new day can start, so that we can find some happiness and we can find that long-term new beginning that we're looking for, right? We're waiting for that sun to shine upon this situation, undergoing major transformations. This could have been very dramatic, very shocking for you. Big, big changes underway here for Virgo. Um, Scorpio energy there. The challenge is this King of Wands energy. Now, for some of you, this, he always pops up for you, Virgo. For some of you, he has, I haven't seen him in a while. For some of you, and this is a good thing for some of you, this is a bad thing, but this is... A challenge this person is a challenge male or female it does not matter and this is fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius this person's very passionate about you very attracted to you um, you find this person to be a challenge okay and that's where these obstacles need to be cleared maybe this person needs to clear some obstacles so we can settle this energy down and make it into something long-lasting okay so king of wands right fire energy now it doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign they could have fire in their chart or the point is this person has a lot of passion for you here virgo but it is very challenging here i feel to stabilize that um into into a settled down kind of energy okay we need to stabilize that energy the advice is the Ten of Cups. This is a big time commitment here, right? Big time commitment, full of love, full of family. 
happy partnership, happy home, happy children, that kind of thing. So this is a very loving commitment and that is your advice. I feel like this person uh, may want to be in a commitment with you, okay? They're very attracted to you, but there's most definitely some obstacles that need to be clear. And what you're focusing on is, are they willing to put the work in? I feel like they're very focused on this, and I feel like, yes, they're willing to put the work in. And I feel like you're willing to put the work in here, too. We have the Eight of Pentacles. This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay, staying very focused. Very focused on the goal at hand here. Stabilizing this situation, clearing obstacles, this whole situation is undergoing a huge transformation. Maybe this King of Wands is going through a huge transformation here, Virgo. But your advice is, a, you know, a, a happy Ten of Cups kind of commitment here. All right, that's the advice. I feel like this person's willing to put the work in. You're willing to put the work in. They're very much focused on you. Um, Eight of Pentacles here. The goal, or the outcome, I should say, is the Ace of Pentacles. So, this is an offer. It may have been a long time coming, but this is an offer of stability. This is something you can touch. This is something you can feel. This is something that's going to last. This is a new beginning that's going to last long term here. And if you just so notice, that's what this person is focused on. That's what... You're wanting here stable, grounded energy here so that you feel comfortable, okay? But there are some obstacles that need to be cleared first. And maybe it's, um, it's almost like, a, you know, you had to have this big drama happen for us to really work on the connection. But this is a fresh new start here with this Ace of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, this person may be trying to get into the way, in the way of this Ten of Cups commitment that you may be going after with somebody else. Now, that could be a possibility. That could most definitely be a possibility. But this person is, you know, a very big challenge here. But I do see them still being very focused on you and very passionate about you. And I see you're focused on the prize here. And I feel like you're going to get it. I feel like you are going to get exactly what you want here, Virgo, because that's what you've been working towards. All right, please clarify this Ace of Pentacles. For Virgo, for their March 2019 mid-month check-in, please clarify this Ace of Pentacles for, okay. Someone from your past coming back into your life. Look at that. It's a soulmate connection. It's a soulmate connection here. So you're going after a stable new beginning with a soulmate. Okay? With a soulmate energy. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Stable new beginnings with a soulmate. Now keep in mind we're in Mercury retrograde. And this card has popped up a couple times for people the past returning. This is going to possibly put you at a crossroads, right, on what to do here. Do you accept this offer? Do you, do you accept this person back into your life? Okay, it's, I feel like the ball's in your court here, Virgo, and what you want to do with this. Because there was some drama that happened here, okay? And this person right here has proven to be a challenge in one form or another. But you're going for your happiness here. You're going towards a soulmate connection and you will stabilize that soulmate connection and it will be a long-term new beginning with somebody that you have love for and they have love for you, but it's going to be up to you on which road you want to go down if you want to accept this offer or not. So two of wands here, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's pull some romance angels and see what else we can get. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo for March 2019 for their mid-month check-in. What is going on here with Virgo? What is going on here with Virgo? This is for Virgo. March 2019. 
What is going on here, Miss Virgo? Right. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I feel like you have been very focused on what you want here out of this relationship. You want to be happy. And you want to be in a loving commitment that is stable. Okay? With your soulmate. Okay? And that's maybe why this drama went down. Because you were not getting what you wanted out of the relationship. Okay? But I see this engagement, right? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And is it ever stable new beginnings with your soulmate? I mean, yeah, it's we're going to the next level here. Obstacles are going to be cleared. You've been very dedicated and focused on what you want. And I feel like you're going to get it here, Virgo. Very, very nice reading. Very nice reading here, Virgo. Okay, this may put you on a completely different path here. It's going to be, it's, it's all up to you on what you want to do with this. this is gorgeous reading. All right, Virgo, that is your mid-month check-in for March 2019. I hope you have enjoyed it. I go live Sunday through Thursday with the daily message. And that's around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then Friday is the live Love Luster Loss, also around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then next week, I'll be working on your future love readings for March 2019, right? All right, you all. You take very good care of yourselves. Have a great night and a beautiful week. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless.